court has thrown out Bishop Obinim, according to the front page of the Ghanaian Times, it orders him to pay 1.6 million Ghana cities to the state. Election 2020, easy to compile a new register um, last week in June and on to July, we're told, declaring agent 44 in court for duping state of 1.16.4 uh, million Ghana cities. The Daily Guide. Voters register NDC position at radius, according to the Attorney General. And we'll get into that detail if we have time. Give Wyoming properties to state, uh, according to the Security Minister. Voters register set for June, and Lebanese rubbishes Malian claims. The Finder newspaper, Business Finder. One forty-five percent hike in air freight charges. Vegetable fruit exporters in limbo. Ecobank named most innovative bank in Africa, and banks revise loan budget downwards. The BNFT, GMPC's better balance sheet, not good reason for us to be their subsidiary. Ghana Gas reacts to ASEP's proposal, and without good insurance, economy will be unattractive to investors. ex active boss advocates lifeline support for sector. Government to expedite development bank for growth, and agribusinesses lose 61% of their monthly revenue to COVID-19. CAG survey, small sale agribusiness suffered largest revenue shortfall within this period. And the Daily Graphic, which is the final one, uh, Mr. Andani, Alas Andani will be editing the Daily Graphic today as the graphic seeks to engage visiting uh, editors. Also, Parliament divided over results of COVID-19 tests. It is true, it is not true. Pull it down. Uh, don't pull it down. That's what we're hearing from Parliament. Does it? Raise questions? Yes, it does raise questions. What do you think? Let's get to know about it. But the front line, uh, the front page, banner headline, voter registration begins June. 33,367 centers for exercise. Dr. Eric Bosman, the is the deputy chairman, EC, and it comes with this photograph on the front page. Also, clearing agents charged for 16.4 million Ghana cities tax evasion. My guest this morning is Mr. Broja Jemvi. He is a member of the NDC's national communication team. Also, Mr. Richard Nyama is a special assistant to the MPP's party chair. He is also a member of the national communication team. Gentlemen, good morning and many thanks indeed for your time. Good morning. Broja, how are you doing? I'm great. Great. How about you? Ah, my life. I can't complain. <laughs> Sir Rich. Today, today is a special day for <coughs> the Deputy National Organizer of the NDC. Oh, okay. Uh, Chief Nixon Piney. Okay. It is his uh, birthday? Yes, yes. Oh, I see. So I wish, I wish him well. I wish him a happy birthday. Nice. Yeah. And a belated one to the Honorable Alexander Afenya Marking. Uh, it was your birthday yesterday. We wish you all the best. Richard, how are you? I'm good, Johnny. You can't complain. Uh, yeah. We're good. Okay. We have life and grace, so <clears throat> we're kicking. Okay. So yesterday, the uh, Interparty Advisory Committee met with the Electoral Commission. I'll quickly run you through the release as we have it here. Dated 27th of May, EC meets with Interparty Advisory Committee, what we call the IPAC. The Electoral Commission on Wednesday, 27 May 2020, held an Interparty Advisory Committee meeting to discuss the compilation of a new voters register. The meeting was held in two sessions in accordance with the rules of the safety protocol spelled out by the Ghana Health Service and the Ministry of Health. It was attended by representatives of registered political parties, a cross-section of some civil society organizations, development partners. Below is a list of political parties present. First set, mind you, the AC organized this in two sets. The first set, which was held at 10 a.m., was the Liberal Party of Ghana, LPG, New Vision Party, MVP, uh, Ghana Cons Great Consolidated Popular Party, GCPP, the Progressive People's Party, PPP, Convention People's Party, CPP, the NPP, um, People's National Convention, PNC, Every Ghanaian Living Everywhere, Egli Party, and the Ghana Freedom Party, the GFP. The second session had the, Unite the Unity Development System Party, UDS, the United Reform Party, URP, Democratic People's Party, Ghana National Party, Ghana Union Movement, GUM, National Democratic Party, NDP, Power Unity Party, and All People's Congress, APC. The following were the decisions that were communicated to the party during the meeting. One, commencement and period of the registration exercise. The commission has stated the registration exercise to begin from the last week of June to the end of July 2020. The exercise will start each day from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. It will take place at all the 33,367 polling stations, which will be serving as registration centers nationwide. Methodology. It says the cluster system of registration will be used during the upcoming exercise. 
It will be done simultaneously in all the district constituencies nationwide with each cluster consisting of the five registration centers. In all, there will be five phases during the registration period with each registration team working for a period of six days in each phase within the cluster. However, a day is set aside to assemble and prepare the materials for the next phase. There will be a movement plan, application, your uh, eligibility to qualify. An applicant must have a Ghanaian, it must be a Ghanaian citizen, must be 18 years of age or older, of sound mind, resident or ordinarily resident in an electoral area, and persons not prohibited by any law from registering. Uh, we'll talk about the other things. Mopping up is there, piloting, and, and all of that. <clears throat> Let me start with you, Broja, on, on this particular one. The requirements of proof of eligibility will be by a passport Ghana card in the absence of the two documents with an applicant with two guarantors who are registered voters to guarantee for them. The NDC certainly will be satisfied with these arrangements as have been put together. Um, we'll start registration in June, data in June, and then close by end of July. Satisfied? <laughs> <laughs> you see, this electoral commission is driving all of us you know, on a very dangerous path. How do you mean? First, they wrote a letter to the NDC mm -hmm. inviting us for this meeting. Mm -hmm. We received a letter on the 19th uh, of this month, mm -hmm. and we realized that the date was uh, 2010. You know, later, they brought another letter to replace it. Okay. And that letter also stated that the meeting will take place at 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. We never heard anything uh, about it. Later, we heard that they communicated with the other parties that it was actually 10 a.m. But our letter stated 10 p.m. I'm just trying to expose the incompetence of this commission and the reason why people must not rely on what they say. What is the meaning of ending June? You are an electoral commission. Mm -hmm. You have a date for an election. Mm -hmm. You must prepare and come up with a comprehensive roadmap mm -hmm. as to when you start registration, mm -hmm. when you end, mm -hmm. when you exhibit the register, mm -hmm. when you do a final register, mm -hmm. when you do your open nominations and all of that. This is the first time we are having an election mm -hmm. in this country that by the end of May, mm -hmm. today is 28th May, we do not have a comprehensive timetable. So when the Electoral Commission says that they are going to start registration late June, mm -hmm. what does that mean? You, it will only take, you know, people who have no knowledge about our electoral system mm -hmm. to believe that the Electoral Commission can do any new register for the election. Really? There will not be any new register for the 2020 election. The Electoral Commission insists that they're I, ready, I was, they're ready I was to in, do that. I was in this studio mm -hmm. on one of your programs, mm -hmm. I think in early March, mm -hmm. And I stated that the 18th April date that they gave mm -hmm. will not materialize because you don't have any law. They, all the requirements they, they have given you is supposed to be in a CI which has spent just 12 days in parliament. Okay. You need 21 days to be able to clear that. For it to mature. To, for it to mature. Mm -hmm. And we do not even know. Now we are hearing that some parliamentarians are testing positive for coronavirus, whether they are still going to be sitting or parliament is going to close down. Nobody knows. Now, the equipment you need for the exercise mm. is not in the country now. The Electoral Commission is currently engaged mm. in some confusion with Talis Digital. Why? What, what because they've not been able to produce their, their devices. The 8,000 biometric uh, 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 voter registration kit mm. that the EC needs to start the registration is not in the country. But Talis gave now. them 84 days. That was their timeline. Because at the time the Electoral Commission signed the contract, mm. we told them that you have delayed the entire process. Now, when they signed the contract, mm. Thales is in France. France mm. went on a lockdown. Mm. They are producing 22 different components of the device, of mm -hmm. the kit. Mm -hmm. And they have not been able to deliver. They, they are in a serious confrontation with the Electoral Commission as we speak now. So, we told them that we have been on this road before. Mm. We went into this situation in 2008 and that is what birthed the uh, biometric register we have today because in 2008 the electoral commission delayed in procuring their uh, equipment mm. and so if you, anybody remembers in 2008 when we had the limited registration 
you had to go to a police station, write your name, go home, and come back later to take the photograph. 160,000 people mm -hmm. went into the, to the registration centers, wrote their names, but out of frustration, they never came up back for the photograph. So all those names were deleted. You disenfranchised 160,000 people. So when they started, we said, look, we have been on this road before. Mm -hmm. And there have been recommendations from very reputable uh, uh, observer groups, mm -hmm. like the Commonwealth Observer, observer Group. Mm -hmm. Anybody can read their reports about the 2008 elections and the recommendation they gave. So all the political parties sat down and said, Let, let's have an electoral reform. Mm. We all went into it, signed to it, you know, agreed what, what we have to do, and everything was done. Mm. This commission comes and they say that they want to work with all that systems. They are why, going to why, generate why wouldn't they work with they are it? going to generate their own systems. Why wouldn't they work with it? Of course, if, if they no, need change, no, they nobody knows. And that's what is driving the suspicion that they want to rig the election. And so if you if you observe the attitude of the Electoral Commission, mm -hmm. they cannot do any register. They are still bent on forcing to push what is not there to be there. When you attempt to do that, you crash the system. 17 political parties were at the meeting. It doesn't matter. When it, are we going it, it to matters. start? When are we going to start the registration? You you did not go to that meeting. No, you have information. They have published yes. they, when are by, we the, by the end of June and then we'll see, they, end they, by they, the end they, of July. They, when they, when, the last week when they went for the first, uh, the previous IPAC, mm -hmm. before this one, they told the political parties that they are going to spend eight days at a cluster, a polling right. center, that's right. which is a, a cluster of about four, uh, mm -hmm. five polling stations. Polling stations right. And that's going to lead them into 44 days. Mm -hmm. They went into a meeting with ECOWAS network of electoral commission. Mm -hmm. They told them that they are going to use eight days for 40 days. Now, what is their release saying? that they are now going to use six days. Mm -hmm. So you see, the more they delay, the shorter days they, they, they must you know, contend with in order to produce the register. There will be three days for more pop. Is that not enough after the main registration exercise? Look, in 2012, in 2012 mm -hmm. we used 10 days for the entire registration. 10 days mm -hmm. for a cluster. And then we didn't even have time for a more pop. Okay. That was in 2012. In 2008, when we had just a limited registration, mm. we used 12 days for that limited registration. Mm. And so these guys are not competent to manage the, the, the system. That, that's not fair to them. I, no, Especially that, that, given see, their, their track record. You see, all record, the things, what track record? Political scientists, Jim look, Mensah has worked look, with there's the no, IEA. There's, there's no, there's she, no, she's had a stint with the there's no school. There's no school in Ghana where you go to learn election management. You need to practice and learn on the job. Okay. So when you come and you are not prepared to learn and go by the systems established by the institution, mm. this is what leads you into. And I'm very scared for the 2020 election. Do you think that the eminent committee should be speaking at this point? Look, the I am even, one eminent committee. They have disrespected them. How do you mean? They met the eminent committee and did a presentation to them and told them that they were going to use the uh, they are going to accept previous voter registration cards, mm -hmm. as it has always been. Because the 1995 uh, register, which is our first democratic you know, register under the Fourth Republic, mm -hmm. was established by the Constitution and was asked to be revised periodically. Right. And so mm -hmm. anytime we are doing any so new sort of registration, we accepted past ID cards. Mm -hmm. And so the Electoral Commission did a presentation to the eminent mm -hmm. advisory Board, committee yeah. mm -hmm. and told them that NDC was just making noise and that they were going to accept past registration ID cards. Now, they took a CI to parliament and took that out of it. And you still believe that these guys can lead us on a peaceful path. I'm proposing that we should remove these uh, commissioners and have an interim national elections committee. Are you not asking for too much? With, no! This is a serious matter. It has to do with the heart of our democracy. I am recommending that we remove these guys from there, have an interim national elections committee mm. with representations from the political parties, and decide the way forward. Because the path we are on now is very slippery. And if we don't because take because care... Because the EC is not doing what you want them to do. Not because they are not doing what they are expected to do. 
For example, what? I mean, yesterday I heard uh, Dr. When are we starting the registration? Dr. says, look, we need to go out there and start this. And by starting this, we will observe social distancing. Look. Uh, we will mark out spaces. Look. We will ensure that we have sanitizers. Look. Each time somebody's hand touches the scanners, we will wipe them clean and disinfect them. I mean, jo there's some bit jo of a protection Johnny, for the citizenry Johnny, there. What is going on now has nothing to do with coronavirus in Ghana. People should disabuse their minds of the lies the EC has been telling us. What is going on currently at the Electoral Commission has nothing to do with coronavirus in Ghana. What does it have to do? It has everything to do with their incompetence. You could not submit a law to Parliament on time. You could not sign your contracts on time. You called your registration uh, uh, officials, mm. the district officers, and trained them using the current biometric devices. You want somebody to go and drive a tipper truck, and you are using Tico to teach the person how to drive. You ask them to prepare a plan. Every mm. district election officer has prepared a plan for the Electoral Commission. They ask them to use eight days for four phases, and they have submitted that plan. You meet the political parties, and you reduce from eight days to six days for a cluster of five polling stations. How is that going to be possible? We will not use the new, the so-called new register for election 2020. The earlier the Electoral Commission accepts that and see how they can make do with the current voters register. If we don't take care, mm. it will even be very difficult. I don't want to predict that one too. No. It will even be very mm. difficult if we want to run back to the current register mm. to do a limited registration. Why? Yes. Of course. Okay, so look, uh, fin look, finally, let me give there's you a, CI, there's in, a CI 91 in Parliament at yeah. this point. CI 126. 126, so, sorry about that, yeah. in Parliament at this yes. point. Now, if that CI doesn't get passed, because you are now raising questions about coronavirus infections in Parliament and all of that, mm -hmm. if it doesn't get passed, what are we looking at? Okay, it means we that are looking at the Electoral the Commission data. has said, yesterday I listened to Dr. Sribo mm -hmm. He says that if that doesn't go through, because that CI, even when it passes, is going to meet a lot of, you know, uh, uh, litigation but, courts. But you're already in court. Seems, yes, yes, and there are other citizens who may want to go to court if they want to take their rights from them. So let's forget about the CI. He's saying that if the CI doesn't go through, mm -hmm. they are going to come back to the current the CI uh, 91. Mm -hmm. That's what he said on one television yes. station yesterday. So you see the incompetence. If you know that you can do something with the current uh, CI, mm. why do you waste our time running to parliament and wasting everybody's time? And wasting everybody's time. So what I'm saying is that I am a failed person. I've been involved in registration since 2004. Mm. When and, we had the, second, the electoral commission is all being realistic. Judging. They are not being realistic and they are not being practical. They don't know. In 2019, the NDC raised the issue that you cannot do mass registration with an online equipment. Mm. So let us not do the limited registration in the district offices mm. of the commission. Mm. They said no. They had a lot of banter with us. I don't know if you have forgotten. They went to the field. When they started the registration, the system jammed. Now they resorted back to offline. They picked the machines from their uh, uh, district offices, mm -hmm. and they were now moving from town to town looking for people to register them. No election registration, voter registration, mm -hmm. has even been compiled in June, July before. Okay. You know, you know, uh, 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 rain uh, 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 party for, uh, pattern. For, for, for pattern. And you know that if you plan and you forecast well, nobody will put a mass registration where people will line up, you know, in the open. In a season like this, they held, they did that last year. They had difficulties. We told them they didn't listen. They came back to what we said. I am saying that practically it is impossible. It will only take novice to believe that the Electoral Commission can deliver a new register okay. for the 2020 election. Thank you. Sir Rich, now the NDC seems not to be satisfied with every provision that the Electoral Commission has made. The Electoral Commission yesterday, if I had um, reading from the document and also hearing from top, some top officials, assuring that, look, we can do this because we have done it before. So the time may be short, but we will achieve it. But the NDC doesn't seem satisfied with anything that is thrown at them. They say, well, we're seeing rigging, we're seeing incompetence, we're seeing you putting us on the path and driving us into a ditch, and you are prepared to rig the elections. What do you say? Johnny, good, good morning to your viewers and... Uh let me say from what my brother will just said. Mm. It means the NDC 
will not partake in any new voter registration exercise. If I heard him right. Okay, that's your inference. They will not be part of it. That's your inference. And I suppose they are telling their members if it happens, they shouldn't turn out to register because they are threatening fire and brimstone and predicting mm. it won't happen. Uh, all the gesticulations my brother has gone through mm. is b just basically saying that there are too many stumbling blocks in the way of the EC. Mm. We don't see this happening. If you don't see it happening due to issues of force majeure, mm. the weather, falling and uh, people not being able to register. Mm. If timelines are not going to be met, it has never happened in June, so it can never happen. Mm. You should be happy. Are they being realistic? No, I'm saying that you should be happy. You are actually putting out reasons and saying that it won't happen. Mm. And so they should go and relax. But the electoral commission is adamant. It's still they are, are they that adamant. They we, have a responsibility. John, the Electoral Commission has a responsibility, and one of its primary responsibilities is to ensure that they have a very clean, credible register that they go to the elections with. And as you and I speak, the NDC is in court, mm -hmm. taking an action against the EC on a law that has yet to be established, actually. And my brother actually was correcting you on the particular CI that it right. is. And yet they are in court. <laughs> Preempting what the outcome will be. But the Attorney General now, has also been speaking about that particular position. Oh, but that is the point I'm making, that it is not even there. So your case there is mute. There is no law. So on what basis are you in court? It is just primary knowledge. I don't need to be a lawyer to be told that. What is the grounds for you being there? But that is an aside. Mm -hmm. I said that to go to an election, mm -hmm. the primary responsibility of the Electoral Commission is mm -hmm. to ensure that you do that election with a credible, clean register. Mm -hmm. That ends up validating the results as genuine and the voice of the people. But, but in the, in the run-up to compiling that <coughs> register, people are raising red flags. Shouldn't you be... Uh, concerned about oh, it as well. This is, is, this, is, this is a major political party. In fact, there are two major political parties, the Duopoly, NDC, NPP. Look, I'm going to give you NDC when it comes to electoral politics in Ghana's history have always taken a trans, uh, an intransigent position really? where they are against any reforms <laughs> that will improve <laughs> our democratic and electoral uh, 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 system. Demonstrate that. Now, when we started the uh, 1992 elections, if you remember, mm -hmm. there were plastic, uh, what do you cardboard o boxes, opaque boxes, op and all those things. Mm. Before the elections, the NPP uh, argued against all this. It didn't. Uh, 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 they didn't budge. We went into the elections. It took the stolen verdict for them to wake up to electoral reforms. So going into the next one, mm -hmm. they are agreed... you boycotted the 1992 elections? Oh, oh, but that is the point I am making. I'm okay. saying that mm -hmm. that led to, because then it means when you go into the next elections without any reforms, you'll be going to compete against yourself. Okay. So they needed to have brought the change. Mm. And so we now had a transparent one. Then came the cards. You remember that? Yes, the black and white. Yes, without the photo, photos. Uh, without photos. Mm. The MPP insisted. And then finally that change came. When it came, we said, let's go further and have a, 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 a biometric a, a system. Mm. Then the NDC resisted. They wouldn't have it. They wouldn't hear of it. Finally, we had a biometric registra uh, registration exercise. Mm. We've gotten to a point where we were like, even under the biometric system, mm -hmm. we have been able to find loopholes. Mm and still bloat the register and make it not credible. And I'll refer to two, just two or three things that happened at the Supreme Court here in 2013. Mm. 
In Abu Ramadan's suit in 2012. Evans de Marco. Yes. Abu Ramadan's suit. Abu Ramadan Evans de Marco. Yes. Not 2012. Okay, whichever it is, there was a suit. Okay, <laughs> that was before the the, the twenty sixteen elections so for the expulsion yes, of yes, NHIA yes, uh, yes. registrants. Now, it was established that the voters' ID cards that were I, uh, issued them mm -hmm. were not credible because the NHIA cards mm -hmm. were used as the base documents to do that. Mm -hmm. That was held as a fact, which means that mm. all those ID cards were faulty. And they were deleted. How many did you delete? 56,000. 56,000? Yes, the Electoral Commission deleted them. That is what, that is what, that is what the court, the court, <laughs> or the court ordered, made ordered KPMG, okay. now, the now, court made pay now, KPMG to now, audit all in the form 20, 1D. In, 20, in 2013. Mm. Don't understand the, uh, election, if, the registration if, process. If you go back to the hearing, mm. when Afarijan came in his testimony, there were some 200 and I think 75 or 72,000 names, mm. okay, that were ascribed to foreign missions, mm. if you remember. So, uh, he was asked to bring evidence of it. In the end, what did he bring? Just about 700. Where are the 271, 72,000 plus? Mm. They are still on there. I thought Baumia raised a similar question about Togolese being on a register. No, hold on. I'm saying that you forget about what Baumia said. <laughs> what was established, the mm. EC ascribed a number. Mm. This country, in this country, Professor Tamils won an election by some 20, 40,000 margin. Mm. So if you have 270,000 plus mm -hmm. unaccounted for names on your register, mm. you have an issue. That's, that's even and first. everybody should... You see, Broja, when you were speaking, Allah, Allah. Go, it wasn't go, honey Richard, and sugar go that ahead. was coming go, out go, of go, your go, mouth. Go. You know, go Richard, go ahead. You know, Richard, uh, we go um, way Richard back. Yama. I'm very mm. good at those things. So Richard let's, Yama. Let us respect Richard our audience. Yes, yes, please. Yeah, thank you. I Richard guess, Yama. Yeah, but you've Don't been overdoing it. it. You go on. You, you have been on. overdoing Richard, it. Please. Richard, Richard. Respect your audience. I'm sorry. You Sir Richard, make progress. Now, those people are there. Okay? Mm. We have made the arguments that. The issue of, and it was established even during the hearing, under aged case, the EC admitted. And they deleted them. They didn't admit to deleting all of them. <laughs> they told you that there were some that they could not, unless you had to physically, and even if you brought the children physically, how are they able to determine their age by looking at them? All those issues were raised in court. Right. So bottom, now, bottom line, bottom to, to line relation to this. We are looking at bringing extra security systems into the uh, register. Okay. That makes it very difficult for you to get on there if you are not Ghanaian. Okay. For you to get on there if you are not of age. Mm. For you to get on there if you are not of same mind and body. Okay. So how is it that so then? How? how is it that then? If this this what you want to they seek to do, the base document, which is the birth certificate, which will be used to acquire a Ghanaian passport, for example, mm -hmm. which will be used to acquire the NIA, uh, and and that's what the NDC is saying, mm -hmm. is being rejected as part of the new requirements in the new CI, and that's that's a major concern to them. How many Ghanaians have a birth certificate in the first place? You need a birth certificate to get a passport. Yes. You need it to get your NIA card. Yes. So. Everybody so, you see, it. if that is their case, mm. make your case that we want the birth certificate as the base document okay. and make sure that every Ghanaian has a birth certificate mm. and let's go. But their position is that we are not having a new voters register. Because they say... Because, you, you call, and they are, 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 are basis... And, and they and say that, basis, hold on, Richard, for me, sorry. Mm -hmm. And they say that, look, we won't have the new register because you have not shown good faith you have not been truthful to us. A case in point is where a meeting is summoned of the committee of eminent persons. 
you tell them that you're going to use the data from the old register and that even accept old voter ID cards. Now in this new one, you're saying NIA cards and passports and maybe two guarantors. And they think that but is But I have, that is, I have pointed out proper. to you that mm. there's a, a, a ruling in this country mm. that indicated that the, NIA, uh, the uh, ID card, voter ID card that way, done due to the NIA mm. uh, was invalid. And so if they, they went there and met the eminent persons mm. only to go and realize that there's a legal position that is against theirs, they have the right to change their mind. Okay. But I, beyond that, so please, please, you spoke. Uh, Alain, you, you are he, not the host. He has, a, he has a minute to wrap up. And the, then we'll go the, to the and I'll, we'll the, give you a the, second chance. The, the issue is that if you go further, their most potent argument mm. is that the NPP won the elections with over 1.2 million votes mm. in the last election. With so, the same register. Yes, with mm. the same register. So why on that basis... Can you still make an argument that the register is bloated? And it beats my mind. Why does it beat your mind? It's Tell a legitimate me. question, is it not? Look, I was part of the demonstration that had uh, the NDC uh, 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 Minister of Communications, Omanu Buama, actually. Uh, 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 Simplifying the brutality that the police method on uh, 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 one uh, uh, demonstrator mm -hmm. who has since gone into eternity. He was shot in the eye. And we were told on national TV that it was tomato theory. It was against the voters' register. If then we saw something wrong with it, it would be hypocritical on the part of the MPP that because we have won the elections, now everything is right. Okay. Point is well made. Etna, welcome back. Yeah, thank what you. Are, what messages. are folks saying on uh, uh, WhatsApp? Right. A few messages on WhatsApp. Bonti Benjamin writes to us from Achimebuakwa. Ghana has one of the best ETs in the world and will not do anything that is alien to its constitutional mandate to bring the nation down. So all parties should comply by the rules of the game because the EC is not a toothless bulldog. New credible voters register now. Good morning, Johnny. If we really want credible voters register, not during this pandemic. I believe this should be common sense. I, for one, do not care whether there is a new register or not. Situations should change our decisions sometimes if we are rational. Let me also ask, is the EC planning to register underage people because the NIA registered 15 years and above? The likelihood of registering under 18 years is very high. This is a plot. Let us be careful as a nation. Also, will the EC be sued for causing financial loss to the state for the limited registration last year, which the EC is throwing away? Eben from Odumasim. Good morning, Johnny. Good work done. Please, I don't believe EC is doing something wrong. And whatever be the case, NDC may even be the first to queue for their card. We have seen this before, so they should kindly stop the propaganda and let peace reign in this peaceful country from Epaphras Dansuman. Good morning, TV3. I don't know why the MPP and the EC are trying to uh, enroll on a new voters register. The president is not serious in fighting the pandemic. He is going to ease the restrictions of COVID-19 comes 31st for a new voters register. On a more serious note, this he is trying to exchange the lives of Ghanaians with a new voters register. Hashtag say no to national pandemic party. Uh, vote hashtag vote JDM <laughs> vote uh, the NDC Yezueza by Ali Ibn Yakubu Kintampo South Jama. Please kindly tell, uh, this one says, okay, kindly tell the EC chair to pay us for the exhibition exercise we carried out <laughs> in September 2019 before talking about compilation yes, of new register. For uh, more than eight months, the EC has failed to pay its temporal staff in about three constitu constituencies in the northern region, including Kumbugu constituency. Please be our voice as always. Thanks from Mufti Kumbugu. Uh, this one is from Ben Somanya. I want to know if the EC has considered that we are in the rainy season. This one is from Setrafia Lemdasi Seholi at Atoko. It's now clear that the compilation will come off as uh, so let all the parties come together so that we have peaceful registration which will pave way for smooth general election 
in December. Hashtag Peace for the Election. Good morning, Johnny. The Electoral Commission, in collaboration with the MPP, want to dictate to uh, Ghanaians, but we won't uh, koto to this. So why are the MPP supporting the Electoral Commission to compile new register and disregarding the register that brought them to power if they still insist on the new register, meaning they weren't supposed to be in power because the register was bloated. My greetings to Honorable Lawyer Bede Zending, the incoming MP for Laura Constituency. Stephen Gandanu from Eremong in the Upper West Region. Ahasan Mensuna Rice was from Tema. He said, it's sickening. The world is battling with COVID-19 by Electoral Commissioner of Ghana is adamant and rather want to go ahead with this needless compilation of voters register when, as a nation, we have pressing issues like poor roads, network, lack of hospitals, lack of social amenities, etc. Why do we wait over $87 billion, uh, for a register when the same EC said it's credible after the referendum and district level elections? The EC must think of the chaotic queues at the centers, especially the aged. Al Hassan Mesuna from Tema. Johnny, the inconsistencies and the lies that have been spewed out by the EC is becoming a national problem, and all patriotic Ghanaians must come together to stop them. As we continue to pray for a vaccine to fight COVID 19, we must ask. Well, pray for a vaccine to cure the incompetence and the folly of the EC. Chris from Ashalibuche. Uh, this one says, why is the NDC afraid of the compilation of the new voters register? Their prank excuses won't yield any outcome for them. The NDC should start embracing their campaign for the new register now. Prince Nudin Baumia Boko from Boko. Good morning, TV3. The EC should be bold enough to tell Ghanaians the secrets behind the compilation of the new register. We are beginning to suspect the EC why they are bent on compiling the register when Ghanaians are losing their lives to COVID-19. Chris from Wa. Johnny, it's now that I have understood that uh, Ghana's biggest problem is our politicians. They are the reasons why this country is developing. Uh, my community, for instance, has no common potable drinking water, and my MP is strongly supporting the new register. Mm. NDC executives must know that the party isn't for them, but rather we the voters on the ground. They are always boycotting these all important meetings, be it good or otherwise. At the end, if you do all these and other parties register their presence, don't you think you're doing more harm to your members than you think, Mr. Wusu Kumase? This was a greetings to you, brethren. I am Norbert Tenu from Nungwa. May we know from EC if those who are infected by the COVID-19 virus would be allowed to come out from their hospital beds, uh, join a queue, go through the processes, and obtain their new voters' ID card, since they too have the right to be part of the exercise. This one says, hi, TV3. It seems EC is lacking some credibility because everything they do is looking like 2020 is going to be Ghana first election, Jack. Good morning, TV3, the most watched station in Ghana. I think it's the constitutional right for EC to upgrade or compile a new electoral role. But Johnny, could you believe that we, the people of Kumbugu district, who were engaged during the exhibition exercise in September 2019, are yet to receive our allowances from Abdul Kumbugu. Uh, good morning, Johnny and TV3. Speaking to your earlier submission with Etonam and Bella with respect to the EC, maybe I should add that if anything goes wrong between the EC and any other political party, the dark consequences rest on we, the citizens. Listening to Esiedin Ketia yesterday, I realized the NDC had a legitimate point which needed to be addressed. I personally think the EC is somehow abusing the power vested in them. Maybe they should start to listen because we are with how they are going, tempests are going to continue not resting. We plead with them, Nana Boatin from Ebuakwa. All right, so let me just take a last one because we don't have a lot of time. Good morning, TV3. Please ask the MPP man in your studio to explain the reason why the MPP is running away from the register they claim to have won them power by one million votes. Hassan from Kuforidia, New Zongo. Right, that. Thank you we'll very much. Uh, <laughs> let's let no, you know. Yes, you, 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 you asked. You, you there was a question you, that you asked. Apparently, 
it was a mis it was a misdirected no 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 please you you asked a question about birth certificates yes oh yes roger you have had your time roger it is my time please please respect respect the voice i'm saying i'll give you i'll give you your final i'll give you a final two let roger have his final two and then your closing thoughts roger on all of this the electoral commission insists that it's done everything in fact i'm reading from the uh, statements that from the IAPAC meeting that everything has been procured, contrary to what you said that the things have been procured. Let's wrap up on. on yeah, yeah. On. Let me first deal with the Abu Ramadan issue. Mm. You know, Abu Ramadan went to court, the Supreme Court, uh, before the 2016 election, and his challenge was that the voters' register was not credible, mm. and so the Supreme Court should nullify it and then we'll go for a fresh registration. Mm. People should know the relief they were seeking. So when they go to court, the court now asks them to prove mm -hmm. why it is not credible. And they gave several reasons. But the court only accepted one of the, the NHIS register. The NHIS okay, to expel that from there. And ordered for the names of people who use the NHI card to register to be mm -hmm. deleted. Mm -hmm. And that was going to be simple because the EC uses a form called Form 1A, where when you go, they write your mother's name, your father's name, all the details and what mm -hmm. source document you were using. So when the EC, after the court proceedings, mm -hmm. the EC said their interpretation of the ruling was that subsequent registrations, they should not use it. Mm -hmm. So Abu Ramadan went to court again. So Abu Ramadan has one and two. There are two Abu Ramadan cases. When he went back to the court, the Supreme Court now ordered the EC to go and delete it before using it for the 2016 election. Right. So they appointed KPMG mm -hmm. to go and audit the Form 1A, in okay. order to identify all those who use the NHI card mm. to register. 56 names, 56,000 names right. more were deleted. And they were given 10 days to go to the EC district offices to register. If you have not followed the electoral processes, you may not understand okay. some okay. of these things. So now, Abu the, Ramadan, the if, Abu Ramadan you challenged... You all your time on Abu Ramadan. Coming, Ramadan. Please. Abu Ramadan challenged only 2012 register. Mm. He didn't challenge 95 mm. register. He didn't challenge 2004 register. So why is the EC not accepting old voter ID cards mm -hmm. from 95 and, and then 2004? So let us, you know, make, make the issues okay. clearly. Now, on the second issue is that, again, the EC is now saying that before you go to the registration center, they will mm -hmm. upload the Form 1A or online and the guarantees form. Or, you see, these are incompetent people. They don't even know How what do they are How do you mean? Doing. We're digitizing. Look. The laws does not allow any Ghanaian to possess a material belonging to the EC. That's right. So before you do that, you need to go back to parliament and amend that law. So they don't know what they are doing. They don't even, they are not, you know, privy. If you are, you are caught mm. in possession of a EC, you know, material mm. belonging to the EC, you will be prosecuted. But there will be there will be creating spaces for uh, social distancing. It's not social distancing. Uh, what I'm saying is okay, that, that, that the that, law does not allow citizens okay, so to they, possess so, EC material. So they need to go and get an amendment. You need That's to go and make an amendment before you say that you are going to make that online. And even at IPAC, the mm. NDC was not there. All the political parties disagreed with them. But they still put it in their uh, 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 release. Mm. Because the political parties know that it is not possible to do that. The second issue is that quickly when you said you were mm -hmm. going to do a voters register mm -hmm. starting from 18th april you said you will produce the final register by 8th november mm -hmm. two months is already gone so if you do the calibration mm -hmm. you will now see that they want to produce a final register after we have even finished the election <laughs> so <laughs> it is not going to be possible mm -hmm. practically possible and you're Let's saying you're not, the the argument. you're not seeing a calendar a schedule of uh, activities leading to the creation of the new exactly. register. Exactly. If, if as at now, we don't even have the calendar, why do we continue to believe them? After the law has passed, the EC needs 21 days to publish or gazette all registration centers mm. together with EC officials who are going to be the registration officials. Mm. 21 days. Let's even assume that the law passes on Monday. Mm -hmm. The EC cannot start registration by late of June. Thank you. And even with the registration officials, people have the right mm -hmm. to challenge anybody they believe have some political uh, 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 lineage to any political party. Mm. 
So that 21 days and the processes that you go through in order to... So after the 21 days, okay. persons can have seven days mm. to challenge a registration officials. And you say that space is not there. Ah, that that, okay. uh, that would already have Johnny. exhausted okay. June. Thank you. Johnny. So Thank it, it is practically impossible. Thank you. People should disabuse their minds. Mm -hmm. We will not use any new register for the 2020 elections. Allow, allow Richard uh, to do I mean, you Johnny. can make that call. Johnny. The Electoral Commission this, will have to make that this, call. This uh, lit liturgy of a shouting bout does not in any way and stop the EC mm -hmm. from doing its... Uh, lawful duties under the law. Mm. Richard, I'll plead with you what, to, be, to be very what, measured. What the EC is doing mm. is legally uh, within its right to do it. Put, they, putting uh, out for money on the internet? I'm saying that they have every right to compile a new voters register. Right. They have indicated they will do it. Mm. The political parties are at liberty to be part of it or not be part of it. Mm. The NDC should tell their members that we do not want to be part of this new voters register. Mm. When the exercise starts, please don't bother. And we'll go on. That will, but, that will be a backward approach. You see, that when be somebody, a somebody claims, oh, but they say, the man is sitting here saying that this thing will not happen. What if I am an NDC member sitting there, naturally I'll close my mind and go to the farm. Is that what There's no need. Oh, what does it mean? You should ask him that. When the registration starts, will the NDC be part of it? It's a question that I expected you'd have put to him long ago. Well, but I, I now, but beyond that, that, that is not that is not the issue. Mm -hmm. He sits here and expects that somebody should be able to bring the nineteen their nineteen ninety five voter ID card as part of the registration process, mm -hmm. and yet he claims knowledge. You're, you're, overstre are you you're, aware? you're overstretching it. Are you aware? The, that the last oh, elections were held in two, 2016. That yes, is, that is my point. Card. Yes. You see, but he is mentioned uh, 1995. Well, he uh, says uh, nobody has card. challenged it. And that's what uh, I heard. You're not getting the point I'm making. What's the point? He He's talking about base documents to use. He's right. talking about the 1995 ID card. Yeah. And I'm saying that even under the EC's rules, if they compile a new ID now, mm -hmm. the uh, previous ones are invalid. It's not true. You don't know. They are invalid. You know, you know, if you know. I use my previous uh, uh, thumbprinted uh, 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 ID card <laughs> to go and do uh, 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 this, thing, they won't allow me. So why did the why did the electoral case, commission why did the electoral beyond, commission beyond tell that, the, the beyond committee that, of eminent persons that be, they were going to use one one of the requirements? I'm saying that under the law, if the people they have the right to change their mind, it's only a fool that doesn't change his when mind. When they have come to I'm telling consensus you, with the political party. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Johnny. You asked a question, and that I need to very, uh, uh, very much correct. Okay. <coughs> and he latched on it mm. about birth certificates. Right. Apparently, since 1995, we have never used uh, birth certificates. Yeah, I haven't spoken as about a, birth certificates. Okay. Oh, he said it, and then you latched on it. I said, if so that is the case, the NDC... It's a valid argument. Uh, if allow, if that is, that so, is a, a, a case you guys want to make, mm. make it. Okay. But since 1995... The birth certificate has never been an, a, a, a form of identification right. for registration mm. under the Electoral Commission. And so, so where the, is that, the, where the, is that the, the argument that uh, General Sidun Ketia, for example, yeah, makes is that <laughs> if you are using the birth certificate to generate a passport, use the birth certificate to generate an NIA card, why would you reject the birth certificate? Because that's the base document upon which the I am two stand. That is why I'm putting to you that the NDC should come and make that argument. Okay. That we think that if you are using this all this while to do this, okay. then use it. But why didn't they make that point since 1995? Mm. They started this electoral process. Okay. Why didn't they see the need to use a, uh, a birth set mm. since 1995? Okay. It is this day mm. that they have an issue and they think that the is, birth set should is, is become that, a legal is any, is uh, base anything, document. Is there anything to go that to you have found wrong with the register, which is why it has to be changed? Oh. I'm saying that we went on demonstration, people have died out of it <laughs> because, of because it was bloated. And okay. I have indicated to you that in 2013, at the Supreme Court, mm. Afarijan okay. could not okay. account for 272,000 okay. people the, there about. We, we, we need to go. We need to go. Thank you. Brother, we need to go.